Rick Ross DM me and he had tears in his eyes. I'm a big gearhead. <laughs> He's DM me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> I'm a modern day superhero. Hollywood can't write this stuff. Because we'd never believe it. Here's the thing. People with fast cars, especially big guys with dope cars, the one thing people do, to, it doesn't matter if you're any of size, like any of size, they go, how do you fit in that thing? It's like, oh, oh that's your takeaway from this dope ass car? Jeez, I can't believe you fit in that thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, that's the takeaway, huh? Twin turbo Lamborghini. A Ventador. Mm. He's racing it. Is he racing oh, it? Oh, you know, at the track. Just uh, oh, that's not a Ventador. That's the smaller one. I, I can't. Again, it's not even hating on big guys in uh, sports cars. I just can't. Um, I can't believe he fits in there. I know. Like, Eminem sees it and go, and Eminem's on Instagram, Twitter, social media. He's DM me. I, I had a thing with Eminem, right? So I know he's on social media. Because when they were doing that, like kind of they're trolling the UFC, Dana White, they hit me up to blast it out, you know? So I did it. Spoke to Eminem. Insane. One of the craziest times in my life because I'm such an Eminem fan. But so. I've had it so, all. So how I'm, much did they I'm, pay I'm for? I'm a gearhead. I'm a gearhead. I, I love, I've had everything. I'm a big gearhead. I'm not a gearhead. I've never pretended I'm a gearhead. I can't fix this stuff. I don't, it's a different language. Yeah. Do you know, have you, have you met Kanye? <clears throat> Yes. What about him, dude? Have you talked to him? Spent time mm -hmm. with him? Mm -hmm. He knows who you are. I doubt it. <laughs> Probably just a white boy with a face, man. Or he might <laughs> with a face. Mm -hmm. I'm not Jewish, so he talks to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> true. What else you got, Jen? Not too many people know this, but for the last five years, your boy has been saving every single dime from all my touring on the road for one reason, one reason only. I'm buying my mother-in-law house. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> I bought from telling jokes on stage, which you told me was a bad idea. I bought this fucking Ferrari from telling jokes on the road, man. Jeez. So I want to thank the fans out there for making this possible, buying every single ticket to all those crazy cities I was in, to the haters too. You motivate me more than you know. Um, we do something on this on this show called Feelings No Facts. Feelings, no facts. Okay. And I, I haven't heard you guys do that, but this is, you know, I'm, I'm busy like you guys are. So I listen to a few podcasts. Mm -hmm. This is one of the only shows I listen to religiously. Oh, every, yeah. this one, the one, only shows. Mm -hmm. That's dope. Yeah. Well, Thank we do feelings, that. no facts I think every you're episode. Fucking brilliant. Oh, I appreciate yeah, that, yeah. man. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> and he found out I was a fighter and he had tears in his eyes and was telling me to stop fighting. Who? Casey Affleck. Wow. He was oh. like, you don't need to do this, man. Yeah. You have so much going for you. You're a smart kid. I he, see you around. Was he him. acting? He didn't know you. He yeah. must have been practicing for a role. Yep. Yeah, maybe. It must have been right before and, he did that Manchester by the Sea. And it worked. Yeah. And <laughs> when I first when part. I first got to the UFC, they called me the hybrid. Now, this was before all those lame cars were out, like the Prius hybrid and all that. <laughs> so what am I doing driving a Prius? This is the camp car. The Toyota Prius is the camp car. And uh the thing that really pushed me over to get this thing is I saw Leonardo DiCaprio drive one, so. And then the hybrid just stuck. Ah. And that was before Toyota was like, oh, cool, we'll use that. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, man, these cars are real gay. So <laughs> we switched to Big Brown, which is also pretty gay. So you can catch me in this Prius. It's a little, uh, it's like a goat cart, but electric. But that's I'm a Pete Davidson fan, dude. I like the way he dresses. Oh, I legs. love that shirt. <laughs> skinny legs. Let me see those legs. Yeah, he's not, he's not dunking basketballs. <gasps> Damn, those are some skinny legs. But the fat dick, though, dude. I don't know, man. No, I'm telling you, it's a fat dick. Sure. That's what Ariana Grande said. And he beat Tim Kennedy. I love his you big dick energy. This. He started the big dick energy. Dude, good. Dude. I, I'm proud of him. Just keep doing it, dude. Uh -huh. do, Just you know, do you know Pete? Yeah. How do you know him? Uh, Just around. Is he? Does he hang? I've never seen him once. He, does, he, 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 he goes there sparingly. Huh. I don't is know. We just LA? always been cool. He lives in LA. Uh, no, well, New York is on Saturday Night Live, but he comes out here too. Is he still on SNL? Oh yeah, he's great, man. I've always been a fan of him. He, he's always been nice to me. Always great to me. Sweet. Oh uh, yeah, I love Pete. What else you got? 
Says a huge dick. Huge dick. Did you know that? No. He's the originator of Big Dick Energy. Ariana Grande started that with Pete. Has a right. huge cock. A real gay. He's the nicest guy, though, man. I'm Have you sure. met Pete? No. He's the have. nicest fucking guy. Huh. I've always liked him, man, but he's super nice to me. I love Pete Davidson. Ultimate Fighter? I was like, this guy's such a fucking dick. Like, yo, this, I, can't, <laughs> I, I, was, I remember. That's why I love that. I was like, I, I, I'm sure a lot of people was like, this guy's a fucking oh, dude, asshole. Because this fighter that we're going to highlight today was a close friend of mine. He's on The Ultimate Fighter, season 10. Is definitely a fighter. Question is, is he a mixed martial artist? What's up, Kimbo? What's up, what's up, d Jump in line there. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think Kimbo Slice, uh, he kind of has a bounty over his head, for sure. When he walked in, it's kind of like the sheep entering the room with a bunch of wolves, for sure. Basically saying this guy is always going to be the toughest guy at the barbecue, uh, but he's not a mixed martial artist. He was this, the toughest guy at the barbecue? Season I, and we were chilling with Kimbo? Kimbo? Yeah, I'm sure they were watching for you, but uh, the great Kimbo I, I don't Slice. Know, but it, was the, it was the most viewed of all time. I'm sure, I'm sure a guy with a story like the great Kimbo Slice, uh, I'm sure they, they, they were like, oh, we want to watch this fucking baboon I from know. Denver you know on what, there. You know what I saw Travis Barker. I was driving. I picked my son up, and I was driving down uh, the road up here, and there's a guy tailing me in a Rolls Royce. In an all-black Rolls Royce. I'm like, what the fuck? And I tell Tiger, I'm like, stay down. He's riding my ass. I'm like, what in the fuck? And he's, he's like fucking with me. Like, who the fuck is this man? And he pulls up and rolls down the window. He goes, what's up, dude? It's Travis Barker. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Because Travis Barker's my boy. And Travis is one of the yeah, best Travis people the, I know. Uh, the Travis is literally one of the best people on earth. And he fucks with him. So I got to imagine yeah. Machine Gun Kelly is a good person. Thanks for that follow, Travis. <laughs> he's great. Yeah. That's Social my guy. Media not real. Let me know if you want to jam. Okay, copy that. With the best drummer alive right now, you want to jam? <laughs> Why well, wouldn't well, I? That would be awesome. Well, why right? not? When was yeah. the last time he jammed? I think it was like two years ago. <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah. a long time. He plays every day. Man, kiss my ass. That doesn't mean I don't know how to jam with a band. You, you can't play forget. music, you play music. Play music. I knew I worked too much because when I saw Floyd, I was like, I don't know who I am. And he's with his entourage, and we're, I'm walking in the restaurant, and he's walking out, and he goes, oh, you that white boy that works too much. That's what he said? Yeah. He said, like, I see you everywhere, man. You that white boy works too much. And I was like, yeah, I got a problem. Yeah, it feels Floyd good. Floyd says, it feels good. You know who I am, but yeah. also, I got a problem. And he goes, I know you. You're the white boy who works too much. That's me, dude. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's me, dude. Wow. He's like, you're all over, man. I'm like, yeah, I'm exhausted. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Too much, but, you're but that also, fucking, you're that white boy that works too much, man. I'm the white boy that works too much. You right, Floyd. You right, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. You right, dog. Yeah, white boy who works too much. But at the time, like, I, that. Yeah, long list. How no? tall is <laughs> The Rock? <laughs> six two. Yeah, I've been no, ele- he's yeah. six two. I've been in an elevator room. Is he a big yeah. dude? Like Which compared only, to you, how big you is two, he? Though, right? You guys were like, it was yeah. just a, no. It was just two of us out of wow. out of. Did you say fight. anything? Just what's up? Sup, The Rock? He a fan. He said what? He said he's a fan. I said I want to fucking fight you. He's okay, not. I, all of that sounds made yeah, up. Yeah. No. We football. You know, when I was a kid, I knew I had the skills to make the NFL. So, and then when I uh, went to the pros. Back yeah, to you, need three games. Games like, you need three games. So you think you need to play three games to be considered, oh, you played in the NFL for a year. Yes. And then from there, I went um, to uh, the NFL. I had a, uh, a cappuccino with the Buffalo Bills. And, and he's like, playing the NFL, right? I'm like, I had a fucking cup of tea with the Buffalo Bills. I had a cappuccino with the Buffalo Bills. A oh, quick shot of cappuccino. And they're like, we're all set on slow white guys. I went, that makes sense. Go to training camp with the Buffalo Bills. They're all, we're, we're all set on slow white guys. White guy, undrafted free agent. But I was the only white guy with all black dudes, and my coach was black. And the coach goes, I don't get it, man. White guys just can't do what black guys can do. He goes, I would never play that kid. I was like, oh, I'm fucked, man. Listen, I had a cappuccino with the Buffalo Bills. I was on the team for eight days, so I can talk like this. 
They, uh, I had to try out with them. Anyway, so, so how long did the stint last? Oh man, three weeks. So I was there maybe three days. Hurt, hurt my uh, hamstring. Got cut. It's no, it's like playing back. one hole of golf and be like, yeah, golf today. <laughs> Logging off the course. But that's that's golfing. There's 18 holes. There's 17 games. There's you wouldn't no, play one there, game and then leave and say, eh, I played so in the NFL if, if, this if year. You're a, oh, no, no, and no, and no. then the team is on the Bills, <laughs> Bills alumni here. But uh, we played as many games as he played in. But, <laughs> but you were technically <laughs> on the Bills at mm -hmm, one point? Mm -hmm. The Buffalo Bills. Yeah, went to training camp, Buffalo Bills. God damn. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Bills Mafia. I, they didn't know my name. There's there's three 47s on the team. So it's just like. And, and then I saw over. another player with my jersey it, who was number 43. I'm like, well, there's, yeah, there's not two. For, like, it's not college. Like, there's only one jersey of 43. The Buffalo <laughs> Bills, man. You know, really, my boy Hector and Rogan were the one who were like, dude, you're doing all this cool stuff with trucks and. Whenever I talk to Rogan, she's about trucks, cars, and fighting. And he's like, I don't get why you don't do something with this. And I'm like, I don't want to brag. Uh, F8 Ferrari, Spider. Your boy's in the Ferrari fam. I have a GT2 RS. It's uh, the richest guy you know. Porsche. Holy shit. Uh, a G-Wagon 63. An Aston Martin and a uh, Ford Bronco. A brand new Ford Bronco. Did I send you the video of it shooting fire on the highway chain? No, I didn't get it. I can send it. For the fans, just so they know. And I do the, the meet and greets after the shows. Sure. And this guy comes up, he has like slick back, silver hair, dope ass suit. Nobody wears shows to my, you know, suits to my yeah. show. It's mm -hmm. just, I'm like, what the fuck's happening there? And he's talking to me, and he goes, you're a car guy, right? I go, yeah, big car guy. Have you ever driven a Ferrari? He had a Ferrari, his front engine, though, and I'm talking about it. I go, not my favorite, man. He goes, ah, that's a shame. And I go, but, I, you know, I'm, I'm waiting to get on the, the list. I heard it's like a 10-year waiting list. He goes, yeah, it's fucking tough, mm -hmm. man. Go, All right, say less, dude. He leaves. And I get a call. And they go, hey, it's uh, uh, Ferrari North America. You got uh, allocated a Ferrari. You're, you, you got pushed to the front of the line. You got allocated a Ferrari. Guy. That guy was the head of Ferrari North America. And he was Whoa. the biggest fan. He was just no a big shit. fan. Yeah. Even if there's haters out there, whatever, on Twitter or wherever they're at, or they don't like me, for me, it, I just feel like if I could literally just sit down and have a conversation with them, I guarantee you they'd be a fan. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, really, dude? <laughs>